Hey guys, Ruster over here. Now in the past, I made a video showing you how to complete the achievement. Been waiting a long time for this, which is a requirement for Glory the Ice Crown Raider. But Blizzard has since fixed the achievement, finally making it soulable again. So I figured I'd make an updated video for you guys showing you how to do this achievement. It is very easy to do. So that being said, let's just get right into the guide. Now before I actually show you how to do this, there's two important things that you need to know. Now, one of the requirements for the achievement is to get 30 stacks of the buff. I do want to mention that you don't need exactly 30 stacks. You need at least 30. It can go above 30. That is perfectly fine. The second thing is that I recommend not doing this on heroic difficulty. On heroic difficulty, there is a knockback mechanic. It's basically just a big pain in the ass. I mean, why would you... Guys, just do it on normal. Just do it on normal. However, if you want to make it harder for yourself, just stand at the bottom of the throne and it should basically help avoid the knockback for the most part. Now, with those two things out of the way, let's actually let me actually show you how to do this. Now, obviously, this is on the Lich King. Go ahead, pull him. And again, all you're going to do, get ready for this. Now, this is gonna blow your mind. You're gonna AFK. Essentially, that's pretty much what you're going to do, guys. You're going to pull the Lich King, sit at the bottom of his throne, and he's going to start summoning these adds. Well, I mean, okay, you could partially AFK. There is one other thing, important ability you need to look out for, and that's going to be the Infest ability. Now, when the Lich King casts Infest, it's going to put a debuff on you. Now, if you are above 90% HP, the debuff will automatically be removed. You don't even have to worry about it. So, if you have a tank specialization, I recommend doing this achievement here. However, if you are below 90% HP from like a random thing from beyond, if you have high corruption, if that's still a thing when you're watching this video, then if you are brought below 90% HP, this debuff is a dot that will keep ticking up and up and up, and it will actually kill you. Yes, a Wrath of the Lich King ability will actually kill you if you don't deal with it. So, simple enough, just use some health pots and get rid of it sorry about the phone now once you get rid of the infest deal with that you basically he's going to start spawning all these ads and he's going to cast a necrotic plague debuff on you now every time this ability this debuff times out or kills its target it will jump to the next closest target and gain a stack now it could jump to you the ads or any class pets now, all you're going to do, guys, again, you're just going to sit at the bottom of the throne, and you're just going to AFK. You're just going to AFK. That's it. Just keep AFKing. Don't kill any of the ads. Just let the debuff do its thing. Let it keep timing out until it eventually reaches, again, at least 30 stacks. It can be above, but it has to be at least 30 stacks. Once the debuff, the Chronic Plague, there reaches 30 stacks. Simply go ahead, kill the Lich King, and then you're just going to wait for his RP. Kill the boss. And you will get your achievement. And then if you did all the other achievements, you'll get your meta achievement, Glory of the Ice Crown Raider. And again, this is the same strategy for both 10 and 25 player. That is the basically the big, that's how you do the achievement, guys. Now, again, two things. Reminder, you need at least 30 sacks. It does not, be, it does not need to be exactly 30. It has to be at least 30. And again, guys, there's really no point in doing this on Heroic. I mean, if you want to, again, if you position yourself at the bottom of the throne, it should help avoid the knockbacks, the knockbacks, the knockbacks. But there's no reason to really do it on Heroic. So in my opinion, just do it on normal mode. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's how you get this achievement. Simple enough. Finally soloable again. Thank you, Blizzard. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. Please sub to the channel if you are not already. If you like the content, I do make guides ideally once a week. Well, maybe not recently, but I'm going to start doing that again because, you know, BFA content is... But Shadowlands is coming soon, so uh, yeah, I'll be making more content there. And also, if you did not know, I do stream on Twitch Friday, Thursdays. Friday, yep, yeah, there we go. I don't even know my own freaking schedule. Professional streamer, by the way. Fridays through Monday, starting at 8 Eastern time. So I do have my Twitch and my Twitter over my YouTube channel. If you want, you can go follow me there. And as always, guys, as always, before I end the Halo, well, the video. Anyways, Halo 3 is the best Halo. That's it. Anyways, guys, until next time. Bye-bye.